Good morning, you beautiful people. I'm GTX and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. So, back to the start. We're gonna do everything with the font mod. Install. Oh, yeah, this is one of the guys the font mod actually adds. It's a it's a guy you fight. They usually spawn close to your haybots, same spawner. But if you move away from it and it despawns and you go closer, it won't respawn. It's like a chance that it would spawn there so uh, that's a thing grab this bucket so uh, yeah I'm starting a new series with the uh, the mod it's gonna be very awesome I'm just gonna grab all these pipe pieces and we'll go put out the fire come on I'm gonna try and skip uh, the basic uh, little scrap vehicle again. Back in. We'll come and pick that up. Uh, let's let's first go do. Yeah, let's first go do this over here. The POI. When we get the battery for the ship, if you guys did not know, pretty sure you guys do. I'm gonna grab this chest, why not? I'm gonna grab all the other chests on the way back. Come on, dump up. Get wrecked. Yes, I'm excited to play with this fan mod, uh, actual series on it. Now I haven't finished the vanilla one, but uh, we'll get back to it. Don't you guys worry. It's just I've been playing so much vanilla, I actually only started, this is the first time I'm actually using a mod, besides when I was testing it. And uh, yeah, I really just want to have a new trap mechanic uh, experience, you know, build things differently because we have new items to build with, stuff like that, you know. Ooh, you see, we got one of the, the top bot bars, the damage bars, it's pretty cool. Grab these uh, spines quickly. Yeah, so all of this is basically vanilla besides the stuff we might get in the chests. Mm, all vanilla. Grab the battery. Master battery. The big Duracell battery. You can power a whole ship. <laughs> Ooh, component kit. That's nice. Quickly clear up here and we'll head back to the ship. More component kits, nice. On the carrots, you have tomato. Always a little sneaky chest hiding up here for me. Ah, component kit, pretty good one. Okay, let's uh, get back down <coughs> and get back down to business. <laughs> let's uh, take the shortcut over here. Shortcut. <coughs> Seven damage. Not too bad. Grab all these chests on our way back. So, uh, this first episode is going to be a little bit longer, I want to, uh, I don't, don't want to scrap wheels, I'm going to try and skip that. 
Um, I wanna basically get all the first stuff done. You know, all the basic grinding and stuff in the beginning. Like, uh, yeah, so I'll skip most of it. We'll just quickly do this so we can get the lockbook, maybe pick up all the soil and stuff. Did we get a decent amount of food? I mean, we get some food. Let's check all the out of my inventory. Corner, probably do on my own. Pipe some bearings. I like to put my circuits and stuff over here. Organize a bit. There we go. Okay, <coughs> let's uh, put out the ship and get our logbook. Now, if you throw this one kind of in the middle, sometimes you can get both. Yeah, nailed it. Do that one and that one. That should be it. Okay, cool. Master battery, boom. Uh, let's get our logbook. Nice. Mechanic stations at the waypoint. That's why we want to go first. How much space do I have? And why did I take the cardboard? I don't want the cardboard. I mean the light and the switch and the spuds. Uh, we'll leave the ducky for now. Anything else important in here? I'm gonna take the storage chest. I don't really want to. Give me the food. I don't want that handles. I don't want the lights. We just don't want to fill our inventory because I'm gonna grab some stuff on the way. Back. Gonna go and grab all the soil and seeds over here and fertilizer. And then we're gonna make our way to the mechanic station after hitting up the POI over here. The one you're supposed to hit up in the beginning. Let's just grab these. Grab all the soil. Okay, so now that we have all of that, let's uh, go finish up with this point of interest over here. I actually, psh, see I'm already getting full on space. Hmm. Gonna place that. Put all the farming stuff. 
nuclear some lights there some bearings some of those Switches, more swell. Okay, so I want to have some food. Probably those two over there. So, uh, five more slots. Yeah, let's grab some of the ember. I'm gonna grab some of the ember. Because we don't want to come back uh, this way. Just want to keep going forward. Probably won't take all of it. Hey, there's a chest over there, I missed. Maybe a stack or two. Okay, two stacks. Grab all of this. Well, not all, all of it, but that's about to save it. Okay, gonna take three more. That's two stacks. I'm good with that. Yeah, some more seats as well. Let's just make sure over here. Sometimes there's a chest over here. Yes, there is. Can't believe I forgot about this. There we go. Okay, cool beans. That should be everything for the ship. Okay, on to the next uh, point of interest. And here we go, next point of interest, everyone should hit up when they first start. I mean, we've been here, we've done all, I don't want that tire, thank you. We've done all of this, so uh, I'll just go and collect and kill all of these guys. Oh wow, all three of you.
Okay, guys, so um, I'm going to use the first uh, first little set of fries so you guys can see what it does. Uh, it makes you a bit flighty. It's kind of hard always to get over here and need to build something. Do a really good jump over there, but uh, I'm going to eat this fries. Now I can jump forever. So good. One fell down. Just pretty cool. See if I can get all the way to the top, make sure there's nothing there. Before it runs out, no, 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 no. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Ah, oh, I can't jump. Oh, never mind. Okay, let me finish uploading this, and we'll be right back. And that's it, okay. POI is finished. I did not go to the roof though. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anything spawn up there. Might be. Might be wrong. So uh, you guys can check on the roof if you guys want. But I'm just going to head on to the scrap mechanic station. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys over there. I might lit up some stuff. I only have one slot left. Maybe some beeswax on the way probably drop something probably need to drink some of these walk juice walk sun shakes and uh, yeah I'll see you guys at the mechanic station Oh nice, we have a Ember Forest close to us, pretty awesome. POI over there, I'm gonna hit up this POI over here on my way to the mechanic station as well and some beeswax next to this chest, which is pretty nice.
grab this. We'll go and drop off some stuff at the mechanic station. And uh, it's nice that there's like beeswax. I was so freaking close. But eventually we can make our own uh, bee farm. And uh, yeah, we don't have to run out to get some more of them. Let's uh, just place the soil. I'll place the seeds somewhere. Uh, where's all the seeds over here? Place potatoes, chemicals. Some potatoes, chemicals, anything else, batteries. Place those. I'm trying to place everything that places in full stacks. Because like onion stuff doesn't, circuit boards doesn't, component kits doesn't, um, ember doesn't, feel I can do. Um, drinks I'm gonna keep on me. I'll keep all three buckets on me, place this light. Yeah, and bearings I'll keep. Uh, I'll keep all the blocks on me as well. Okay, let's just uh, go grab that piece. Well, or oh, let's activate the mechanic shop first. So all of the mechanic shop's battery you need. It's the same big high power Duracell battery like uh, at the ship. <laughs> It's always in this number two bungalow, whatever it's called. Just harvest the spine and then we'll grab the battery and activate this uh, mechanic shop. Give me the battery, thank you. Now, this is gonna be temporary base for us, but uh, I'm gonna try and move along as fast as possible. Just place the battery in there. See what we need for a craft ball. Oh, good, we have enough. Get that boy. Bad boy first. Drop him. There we go. Just the craft bot. And stand right there. Nice. Now we have the craft bot. We can make all of this stuff. Okay, so just these things we're gonna need first. I'm gonna need glue. Mid blocks I can make. Glue is what I need. I make a few already. Okay, let's uh, quickly go grab this honey and uh, all the stuff I left in that POI, and uh, I'll be right back. So, I did notice that other POI over there, I'm just gonna go grab some more stuff over there, because in the beginning, looting is the name of the game. So you guys, hold on, while I go loot this.
Okay, so I've done the POI and the other one as you guys saw in uh, the fire area. I'm just gonna go do this one as well. I wanna do all the POIs close to my base so they can respawn pretty quickly. So let's just do this guys and I'll be back in a few seconds. Oh wow guys, you see that island? That's a pretty decent island. Over there. It's gonna be pain getting the vehicles across. Unless I build a super huge bridge. It's got two of the big trees there. Three? Yeah, three of the big trees. That looks pretty freaking awesome. Like super flat. The thing is, we kind of need to be close to oil as well. I don't know, we'll, we'll have an episode where we scout out. Uh, let me just get back down and uh, uh, back to base and we can see what we can do. Oh, we got 20 component kits besides the 10 we spent on the craft part. Oh yeah, I crafted uh, as you guys probably saw. The uh, connection tool, well, we can't do quite yet. Need metal block too, which I could probably get. But let's focus on a vehicle. Ah, oh, I need to go get oil for an engine. Hmm. Um, let's do wheels. Normal ones take eight. I want to go with the big wheels. Oh, these text plastic, which is oil and chemicals. Ugh. Forgot about that. Hmm. Ten plastic. And plastic takes five plastics, take ten oil and five chemicals. I mean, I have a bunch of chemicals, I just need to get oil. Um, 
Yeah. Maybe I should just um, cause I need uh, storage. I want to go straight for these ones. I need the metal block and I need glue. You know what? I'm gonna double upgrade this. Uh, queue a bunch of metal up. I mean, we have enough bearings. We have like freaking eight bearings over there. And uh, that's enough for a vehicle plus two drills. Make a bunch of metal. <coughs> Need to go get clams and crude oil. Gonna make just a little bit more. I'll leave that to go and let's go jump into the ocean somewhere. I think this is gonna be closest way over here. So, uh, clam and glue montage incoming.
Jeez Louise, guys. Did you guys see that? Freaking hell. Holy glue clams. How much did we get? Let's quickly drink something. Damn, I would also be thirsty. I went like the whole freaking night. We got 10, 20, oh, it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 103 glue clamps. <laughs> and 2, 4, 6, 8. 110 oil. Damn, that was freaking good. That was a good run, I would say. Man, let's get back to base. Freaking hell, I can't believe we have so much oil and glue clamps so close. This is a pretty good seed. If you guys want me to share the seed with you, just uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll reply with the seed for you guys. And uh, you guys can come and check this world out. It's really up and down, like it's real hilly. It's a bunch of stuff close by, water, oil is freaking so much of it in this freaking ocean over here. Oil and glue clamps. Yeah. Um so yeah, let's just get back here. Still gonna be crafting. Okay, so I needed plastic to make the wheels and for that I need oh wait, let me just make all the glue clamps I can. Let me make enough for two chairs so I can automate this. So I need four. Two, three, four. Let's just make four. And we'll auto automate the rest of it. Now I can do two chests. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Output. Chest and input chest. So we'll dump all the glue clamps in here. Anything it's used for is making glue, so we can just make all of that. Um, not gonna dump all of the oil in. I should probably keep like some of it. Yeah, let's keep that 40, 40 oil separate. And then chemicals, I can just dump all of it in there to make the plastic, so I can make the other wheels. Okay, what else? Component kits and stuff, I can probably just chuck them in here as well. Beeswax, definitely. Give me all those beeswax. I grabbed all the beeswax for all the tires. We'll probably go with the vanilla ones for now, in the beginning. And probably put all of these also in there. And then we'll see if we can craft all the stuff for a vehicle. We might need some more component kits, but... Because I overspend it on the craft pod, but I needed more space to craft. So... Uh, these in there, and then that. I'm gonna need water. I do believe that's the oil going. Nice. Um, what else can go in there? I think that's it, right? Uh, do you guys think that water is still over there? I mean, it was like two water, but. Um, let's just wait for this thing to finish. Let's see, let's see. I can make an engine, but then I can't make a seat. Oh, I can't make a seat because I need cotton. Ooh, we need cotton for a seat or a saddle. Hmm. There's no way to make cotton in here, right? Is this popcorn? Tasty popcorn can make robots pop. 
replace it with if somewhere and uh, if a robot comes close it explodes what just oil and corn <laughs> to make a popcorn <laughs> this sounds freaking awesome um, yeah you see glue clam thing luckily we have a bunch of them like super close to us from the the clams because it needs armor block th it needs the armor glass block and the metal block 3 at least we have the chests now uh, we're gonna need cotton oh I'm gonna have to go look for cotton how many of these shakes do I have? I have four hmm me quickly do this consumables craft that one water how much does it cost for these freaking buckets five I'll make two more I can do runs of five at a time So let me get this crafted up and uh, we'll be back with you guys once I've gone and collected some water. See you guys in a sec. Okay, so uh, I got some water. Actually, did not need any, which I just realized. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
I'm probably gonna go and uh, see if I can't find a cotton biome. I'm gonna use these to feed some walks as well along the way, because then I can make more. Go over here, just take some batteries, some gasoline, walk milk, and metal block to make one of the red walk. But I have four, I'm just gonna wait for daylight and then I'm gonna run around, see if I can't find any, any of the, by the, the cotton biomes, the fall biomes, I do believe. I'm just gonna put this like on 60. So it's not too freaking dim for you guys on YouTube because YouTube's make everything freaking darker, all the videos, so. I'm just gonna wait uh, for daytime and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's during daytime now, guys. Uh, I'm gonna drink a walk juice and uh, let's see if we can find a uh, cotton biome. I think I'm gonna head in this direction first. Ah, oh, this is so good. Gives you so much speed. Probably gonna try and stick to the high ground so I can see better. Ow! No, 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 no! No! No, stop rolling! No! <laughs> stop rolling, you stupid character! There we go. <laughs> So yeah, don't hit anything <laughs> when you speed run. Even if it's just a tiny rock like I did. Cause uh and don't jump off any cliffs. Uh, let me let me go this way. Got some beeswax over there. I'm not gonna grab it. I'm looking for the the biome. I should probably should have made more of these. I think this is the trader tile, so let's go behind it. Come on. Show me a cotton biome somewhere guys. Somewhere, scrap mechanic, come on. Let's run past the trainer here. Oh, I think I see a cotton. Is this? Yeah. Here we go, guys. We found it. It's a cotton biome. See, it looks like fall. Oh, and a desert next to it. We're gonna go and check out the desert, see if there's any oil ponds over there which is also gonna be good so I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this cotton so uh, cotton montage here we go Oh wow, look what we found guys, it's a bob, it's uh, one of the guys in the cages, and I think I actually saw another one up here, so there's like two of them super close together, which is going to be really nice once we need them to get like spot guns and stuff, oh I already heard him, help, help. Here's Bob, 
will help you. I just need to get a vehicle first so I can transport you, you to heavy to carry, man. Yep. Yeah, Bob, I'll help you. Just uh, get all this stuff for a vehicle and a bed. And oh my gosh, there's so much cotton here. This is such a good freaking spawn, man. So we got a Bob up here, a Bob down there, and I think I even saw another one. Over this hill, we'll quickly check it out. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all the cotton. Always when you're out harvesting stuff, guys, one thing that helps out a lot is if you go for cotton and you get a cotton field like this, just get it all. Oh. As, most, uh, as much as you can carry, you know. Don't be stingy in grabbing, just don't grab like just enough to finish something. Just go out and get a lot. Yeah, top bot. <laughs> just refine this quickly. Always refine these limbs or spines or whatever. Because uh, they make your world laggy. Let me just check over this hill. I'm pretty sure I saw another pop. So we've got one there, one down there. And then I think there's another one across this, this peak over here. It'll be great if there's like three of them super close to each other. And at the bottom ends here. So it's literally just behind the trader. Thought I saw another one. It's probably that one I saw. Yeah, it's a really hilly sea tile. Which I uh, kind of like. How much cotton do I have already? T60, 80, 102 cotton so far. No, 122 cotton. Which is a lot. Let's try and round it out. Room for ten more. I have room for a lot more, but I'm only gonna grab ten more. We still have to go check out that uh, five more. Still have to go check out that desert biome that's to the right here. Three, four, and five. Boom! Yeah, 120 should be good for now. Um, I actually wanna go. Check this little farming tile that was up here. And I'll grab honey if I see any. There's no honey on that one. Let's quickly go uh, check this farm tile over here. We got another desert tile over there. <gasps> this is the nice one. I like this farm tile. The reason why is this little shack over here. Some more soil. Should probably pick up all the soil. But as you can see, there's some pipe pieces. I'm just gonna go first person. But these are the ones I want because these are durability. What's that? Six, which is really good for uh, base defenses. And then I'm probably just gonna pick up all the soil as well. Gonna need it eventually, and I have the room. Oh, wait. Is that a chemical plant? Oh my goodness. This tile has everything so close by. Let me finish picking up the soil. That's freaking awesome. A bunch of pot pieces, I'm not gonna take that now. 
Um, let's go check out that uh, desert biome that was over here. And then we'll head back to base. See if we can craft our seat. Maybe even our vehicle. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, coming up to the desert tile. Let's see. Thank goodness. It has a oil pond. We struck oil. Wait, where's America? I said a whale. <laughs> Funny little joke. Um, yeah, so we have oil here right just next door to the trader, behind the trader. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna mosey my way all the way back to base. Or, you know what, let's go to the trader. I'll see you guys at the trader. See what the mod adds in the trader for us. There we go, coming up to the trainer. Let's see what he's got for us. Hello. Okay, cool, some of the basic stuff. All the seeds, trolls, got the spot turret, ammo, the spot guns, the garment boxes. So all of this. I believe it's vanilla. Now all of these below it is modded. So let's check it out. So you can actually buy the broccoli seeds, you can buy pineapple seeds, you can buy circuit boards. Buy one. One crate of pineapple for one circuit. No, it's ten. It says ten. So ten so that's not a bad deal. So component kit same, broccoli. But that's gonna be close to in game in any way. Got the grinders, it's cheaper to make them. Then explosive boombox. Uh, okay, so it holds explosive ammo basically. Dang cannon. And that uses the boombox. Okay, then banana nator. Ammo box. It's probably gonna be for this guy. Yeah, banana nator. It's like a Gatling gun but with bananas instead of spuds. And it's mountable. The chemical cannon. Chemical cloud. Oh, it's just the same chemical cloud as farm bots do. It's rather a PvP weapon since robots don't take any. Uh, okay, they don't take chemical damage, so this is for PvE. PvP, I mean. Uh, mountable shotgun. Okay, that's cool. Gas. Some blueberries and some oranges. Glue. Okay, 15. Beats, 5 glue, 2 carrots for 10 beeswax, not a bad deal. Now we get into the weapons. So the vanilla hammer has 20 damage, 1 speed, and 3 range. So this one, less damage, double the speed almost. So you can swing faster with this. Banana. Banana hammer, <laughs> weird. It's a banana hammer, baseball bat, 16, 1.33. Construction lamp, on the three speed range is 5.5, so this is nice range to keep the bots at a distance, but it's all, it's like almost half damage. Electro hammer, charge stun robots and farm, and farm bots. You can stun a farm bot with this. What? That's pretty freaking awesome. The Georgia does have batteries in the inventory. The vanilla hammer does 20. Okay, so this does 60 on the charge, 1 speed, and 3 range. I don't know if that's 60 damage, or uh, I'm not sure. Then we have the range, which also looks pretty cool. Uh, lot of damage, slower speed though, 70% of the vanilla one. Range is 3.5 though, so this might be a really good one. So one farmer and five beat crates. Red walk hammer, 21 damage, so one more damage. It's got 1.5 speed of vanilla one. And it's got a 3.5 range. This is the really good one, the red walk hammer. I mean, it's only one damage extra, but it has 1.5 speed, so it's 
one and a half times faster than the vanilla one and he's got 3.5 instead of 3 range so it's a little bit extra range especially for those hay bots this one would be nice okay and then the hay bot fork and this is awesome you can actually poke him with their own fork 24 1 by 2 5 3 points uh, uh, on hit it will harvest and collect everything around you oh so you can actually use this when farming and then picking up all the stuff I wonder if that works okay and we got a bazooka oh my goodness explosive canister in your inventory oh crap it doesn't tell the damage but a freaking bazooka sounds awesome uh, Got some batteries of bananas, then the eggplant seeds. So five eggplant seeds just for one blueberry, that's a freaking good deal. Got a water cannon. Nice flamethrower. Homing rocket launcher. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. Can I build some freaking awesome tanks with this? Top bot mace, if you hit with this weapon a top bot it will drop more loot on death what so this is basic this is basically for when you do your farm raids you just kill the top bots with this thing and you get more loot I guess it's pretty cool 1.5 speed 3.1 range 18 it's a little less damage than vanilla but I mean it drops more loot so and then defend glow gun uh, glass sixteen inventory weapon is based on Mr. Mara. Okay, so I guess this just shoots a bunch of glow stuff. It doesn't actually do damage. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we can get from here. I really want these two. I mean, this one's slower, but it almost does. Yeah, it does one and a half more damage. Just over one and a half more damage. And it has 3.5 range. And it's cheap to get. We just need 5 beats and a farmer. A bob. A caged farmer. So that's 50 beats and a caged farmer. We can get this great neck wrench. Might might want to do that pretty quick. How, what's this? Uh, this one is expensive. Banana, blueberries, and oranges, and a farmer. Jeez. I mean, you're gonna get a lot of loot out of the the bots. Maybe even more heads, so we can turn them into uh, component kits, which would be nice. Okay, yeah. So that's the farmer, guys. Um, I'm gonna run back to base, and I'll see you guys in just a minute. And we're back to base. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, quickly dump up all the stuff we got. I need the cotton in here. Just gonna put one in though. Add the honey. We got a bunch of soil we need to place down. Bunnard gets. Ah, uh, sucker balls gonna go in. That's gonna go in. Okay, boom. Let's, uh,. Make a saddle. I need to make. Oh, I don't need to make that. I just need to move it over. Or he made it. Or he made an engine as well. So I'm gonna go for the driver's saddle. Just so I can have a center point on my vehicle. The driver's seat. Oh, seat. Um, takes it. Takes more resources. Well, it's just more cotton can do but um, I want to center on my vehicle so driver's saddle it is so we have an engine we have a saddle we have the bearings uh, we need the wheels so which wheels are we gonna go for hmm Five by two is the same as the vanilla one, I do believe. So are we gonna go vanilla size? Uh, five by two. 
And these cost are the same, these are more expensive. These are vanilla but bigger ones. Hmm. I don't know. That's 30. These are 30. Wait. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know which one, which one. I don't want to go for the 7 because it's going to be floppy. Let's do the 5 by 2 off roads. So I need 40, so I need 80, so 160 plastic. This makes 5. So that'll be 10, 20, 30. I can make 30. Uh, that's not gonna be enough. Takes 40 for one. That takes 30 for one. These are 30. These are 10, but it's one by one. Hmm. Might I have to go with vanillas for now? Oh, I need normal wood. Yeah, so this episode has been super freaking long, guys. So we have our seat and we have our engine. And uh, I think I'm going to call it here. Next episode, we'll finish up the vehicle, get it up and running. Maybe go to that chemical place with a chest and maybe a pump if you can make one. Get a bunch of that. Same with the oil. And then we can build a bigger, big, better vehicle than I can currently build. Because I can only use the vanilla wheels. And uh, yeah, I actually want to use the modded wheels. So um, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, if you guys would smack the like button for me. And then, yeah, share it with your friends, share it with your mom, your grandma, whoever likes watching Scrap Mechanic videos. Just uh, send them my way. I'll entertain them. And then, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. So, uh, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Good night.